In this video, I'm going to focus on the so-called standard greetings in Maninka, as spoken in Guinea. While things can differ slightly in Jula and Bambara, if you use what follows, you'll be understood by pretty much anyone who speaks Mandan. My name is Coleman. I'm the teacher and linguist behind Ankata, my initiative to create media and resources for speaking and learning Mandan. Are you new here? Think about subscribing. Did this video go a little bit fast? There's a link down in the description below that can give you access to a text, vocab list, and exercises that go along with everything that I cover here. Otherwise, Ankata! There are four primary greetings to use depending on the time of day. They all follow the same format, which looks like this. Ini plus time of day. You will vary time of day by one of the following. Soma, meaning morning. Tele, meaning day or sun. Wura, meaning afternoon, early evening. Or su, meaning night. This gives you the following options depending on the time of day. Ini soma, meaning good morning. Ini tele, meaning good day. Ini wura, meaning good afternoon. And ini su, meaning good evening. Note that in spoken Maninka these days, people typically drop the ni when saying the morning greeting. So you'll often hear isoma instead of inisoma. There are not firm rules about the exact time at which one switches between the different options. For many Mandang speakers, Muslim prayer times play an important role in their sense of when we have gone from tele to wura. You'll eventually get a feel for it when it's best to use one over the other. In the meantime, here's a rough approximation of when to use the greetings. Soma, early morning to noonish. Tele, noonish to 3 p.m. ish. Wura, 3 p.m. ish to nighttime proper. Su, nighttime proper until the sun begins to rise. Ini literally means you and. So, in the strictest sense, a greeting like ini wura means you and the afternoon. More specifically, i is the singular form of you. This means that greetings like ini soma and all the rest are for greeting a single person. To greet multiple people in Maninka, one replaces i with alu. To greet a group of people in the morning, we would say aluni soma, meaning good morning to a group of people. You may hear the word a in place of alu. They're different forms of the same thing. The second person plural pronoun meaning you all. For now, let's treat them as interchangeable in the context of greetings. You may also see the word alu written without a diacritic or accent mark that marks tone above the first A. Yes, Mandang is a tonal language, but let's not worry about that for now. In any case, the principle of using aluni and a time of day applies across the board. For instance, aluni soma is good morning, aluni tele means good day, aluni wura meaning good afternoon, and aluni su meaning good evening. For your purposes, it is probably best to simply learn the standard Maninka way of using i for greeting one person and alu for greeting multiple people. Everyone understands the standard forms and you can always adapt your own usage down the road based off what you hear most often. All right, so you know how to greet people, but how do you respond? Greetings can be an extended affair in West Africa, but for now, let's just focus on the basics. If anyone greets you using one of the forms that we just went over, for instance, isoma, alunisu, you need to first respond with one of two words depending on your gender identity. Mba, which is for male, and nse, which is for female. From there, you can simply repeat the time of day that was used when you were greeted. So, here's an exchange where someone greets a woman in the middle of the day. Initle, nse, initle meaning good day, nse, good day. Note how I didn't translate nse in the second line. This is because both nse and mba are call and response interjections that don't lend themselves to a convenient one-to-one -one translation in English. You can also use mba or nse when you're responding to a greeting that was addressed to you as part of a larger group of two or more people. For instance, aluni soma, mba, 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 ini soma meaning good morning to a group of people, and then multiple responses back, mba, good morning. 
Finally, keep in mind that responding with mba and se should be automatic. As soon as you hear ini in a time of day or aluni in a time of day, you need to respond with mba or nse. It's not optional. Without it, you have not properly acknowledged a greeting and the person who said it. In addition to greeting with the time of day, we can also greet with an activity or context. To do this, we keep the same structure, but we replace so ma, tere, or what have you, with an appropriate noun. This will look like this. I, or alu, ni, plus activity. So for instance, if you saw a friend who was working and you wanted to say, hello, you might use the word bara, meaning work. For instance, ini bara, meaning hello to someone that's working, or more literally, you and work. Ini bara, or if you hadn't seen some friends in a long time, you might use the word fama, meaning absence. For instance, aluni fama, hello, but with a meaning of it's been a long time attached to it, or more literally, you all and absence. Aluni fama. There's a wide range of nouns that are commonly used to greet this way. You'll pick them up as you go along, but here's a few to get you started for now. Ini lo, meaning you and the market, as in hello, while you're at the market. Ini tunu, meaning you and disappearance, as in I haven't seen you in a while. Ini tama, meaning you and travel, as in someone is traveling and you say hello. Ini sene, meaning welcome. This one's a little bit more idiomatic. It means you've arrived. You might also hear people say idanse, which is sometimes used in Jula speaking areas. And then there's one more idiomatic one, which is arguably the most useful and frequent. Inike, meaning thank you or hello at any time of day. Historically, ke likely comes from a word that means farm labor. In this way, we can think of it as coming from an expression that meant something close to you and labor or you and your labor. This expression is now a general way to recognize someone's good actions, thank you, or a polite way to say hello. In any case, you will always respond to all of these ini and activity greetings in the same way you do with times of day, by using mba and nse. Multiple ini or aluni phrases can and often do occur in a single greeting exchange between people. For instance, if your old friend returned in early evening from travels after a really long time away from home, you could greet her by saying, ini wura, nse, ini sene, nse, ini tama, nse, ini fama, nse. In English, each one of these sentences would require a totally different structure. Think of something like, hi, welcome back. How was your trip? It's been so long. But in Maninka, you can simply use different types of ini or aluni greeting phrases. Because of this, it is really important that you focus not necessarily on understanding what the word that comes after ini or aluni is, but rather on recognizing that they are greetings and then responding automatically with mba or nse. Got it? Ini bara. Mba. Nice work. Iowa, did you find this video helpful? Let me know down in the comments below. Did you find it really helpful and you wish that I would make more videos like it? Think about becoming a patron. There's also a link down in the description below. Otherwise, alunike ambe.